Assalamualaikum and hello guys. Welcome to my Groove Vlog. We are going to introduce and promote Timpu City that is located at Bhutan Country. Bhutan is located between China and India, bordering with Tibet across the Himalayas. Bhutan is a landlocked country in South Asia that is a premier destination for high value tourism. Bhutan, known as the land of the thunder dragon, is smaller in size than Switzerland, yet has never been colonized by the massive nation that is surrounded. Now, I'm going to introduce the types of culture dance that is famous among the folks. This is the top three types of dance. Palenzo welcome dance. Since it is a welcome dance, it is usually performed at the beginning of any event or a special occasion. The intention behind the dance is to welcome the guests of honor to bring good luck to the day and announce a great start to the function where it is being done. Number two, Zumdra. Oldest traditional Bhutanese song, Zumbra is majorly about religious theme. The contents, lyrics, and the performances make an offering to the gods and goddesses. The oldest classical Bhutanese song that are performed in zongs and monasteries is termed as Zumbra. It is usually performed by women, a traditional attire, and a raju, a hand-woven Bhutanese scarf makes for the look of the dancers. Number 3. Drum is Ngacam Religious Mask Dance Mask Dance is an important form in Bhutan and its festivals. A mask with a drum is one of the most popular mask dance since it was performed for the first time in the Eastern Bhutan in Dramits. It is famously known after the place as Dramit Ngacham. That's all from me, a bit explanation about Timpu traditional dance. Thank you for watching. I will pass to Lokman Hakim to continue the vlog. Bye. Thank you to Aman. Now I will explain about traditional game in Timpu Bhutan. I will describe two games in Timpu Bhutan. The first is Kuru. Kuru is traditional Bhutanese sport. It involves throwing that outdoor with a distant target. It is a team sport. It seems to involve about 8 to 12 players. The target is a wooden flat-sided post. The game is preceded and followed by dancing and singing. The game can be played on a round or point basis. The usual game consists of three rounds and the team with the highest score win. The second is Dago. Dago is a play with a pair of spherical flat stones that are hurled at two targets facing in the ground at a distance of about 20 meters apart. The game is played all over Timbu but is normally Play more in rural area. The game is normally played in Timbu by men. The only required equipment for play in the game is a pair of flat spherical stones for each player. Dago can be played as a team game or individual game. If at three percent, the game is played as on individual game spaces. The if there are 4 or more percent, it is preferred to be played in two teams that complete against each other. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you. Hi and Assalamualaikum everyone. My name is Adam Azrin Ben Azila. So for my part is, I will share to you guys about food in Bhutan. Bhutan is one of the cleanest and beautiful countries in the world. There is no doubt that this country of strong culture and tradition will leave the visitor spellbound 
by its enthralling natural wonders and culture. However, not many people know about the exciting flavor that this place holds, whether it's the main cause of or side dish Bhutan's food will take your taste buds on a roller coaster of flavors such as red rice, jashamaru, shamudashi, and shakampa. The first is red rice. Red rice is a main food of people in Bhutan, like Malaysia. The reason why Bhutan's people love to eat red rice, this is because the red rice is benefit in traditional medicine which is can reduce a blood sugar level of meals, treat diabetes as a source of antioxidant, reduce blood formation in the blood vessel and reduce the risk of heart disease. Jashamaru is a food was eat by a red rice. Another one of the famous Bhutan dish is a jashamaru. Jashamaru was prepared using a chicken, garlic, ginger, tomato and onions. This dish is ready to take your taste but considered to be one of the special dish in the Bhutan's country. Chamudakshi Chamudakshi it is because Bhutan's people also like to eat food with a cheese. The Bhutans are also like to put cheese in their recipe which is called shamudakshi. Shamudakshi is a food that contains cheese which is have almost all the nutritional nutritional contents of protein, vitamins, mineral, calcium and phosphorus but also contain fats and cholesterol which can cause health problems when consume it too much. Shakampa is a magical Bhutanese dish made using ground beef, grilled chilies, and radish. This beef in this dish is bit bit chewy because beef is first dried and prepared before being used in this dish. Shakampa is an excellent source of protein and is one of the staple diets of the Bhutanese people. The technique of drying and preserving beef is also part of the normal cooking style of Bhutan. So this is from me. I will pass to my other team member. Thank you. First bridge of Bhutan or we call Iron Chain Bridge. Due to the Bhutan con control to topography Majority of the place in the country are connected slowly by large wooden bridge with rapid rivers flowing through the city. It is sometimes the only element that connect these areas. It seems mostly cantilevered. It has no vertical support below but connected to the land on the train it starts from. This is due to the fast flowing rivers that following weekend the strange the strange of the vertical support if any were provide due to this it have many suspension bridge as well with the support along with the vertical members that connect the bridge upward known to be one of the strong bridge it have history of recurring memories peoples and animals and industry strategies. Second thing uh, I want to share about Zong of Bhutan. The Bhutan Songkhul history of Zong in the 12th century. Zong was constructed on mount, mountain tops as the watchtower and for stress during wars. It would save shelter or protection from sudden attack by enemies. It been an important part of the architecture of Bhutan because it's just not administrative centers but also an important religious center. Half of the area is used the administrative purpose and other half is used to house the monk and other religious activities. I will show you two kinds of zone view. First, Tachi, Tachi Hozong 
and second Puna Kozong. The roof of the zone have a gentle slope and a small square shaped golden colored structure. The top, those golden structures are placed on the corner of the roof and the such roof are known as Jabzi. The Jabzi roof are not allowed to construct a common house or building. They are specially reserved to for zone which discussion disgusting shifts them from the other buildings. The in interior of the zone is a splendor to eyes with its magnificent religious painting, a valuable inscription and artifact. The pillars are also beautiful carved with image of nature and picture related to the history of Bhutan. Lastly, the joy of the witnessing, the straight stonework and touching the walls, a smartly building house in Boyan, imaginable any amount of wood can only partly just leave the clear architecture of Bhutan. It's a beautiful architecture in the world. In Bhutan, right? Hello, my name is Ahmad Afiki Hilmi Ben Amra and I'm gonna tell you about traditional art in Bhutan Timpu. The traditional art are known as Zori Chuzong. Zo is mean the ability to make. Rit is mean sign of craft and Chuzong is the thing. So there are 13 traditional art in Timpu Bhutan. So first is Dezo. Dezo is paper making. Handmade paper made mainly from the different plank and gum from a clipper root. Lazo is painting from the image of Tankas wall painting and statues to the dictionary on the furniture and window frame. Next is Pazo. Pazo is wood, satyr and stone carving. In wood, satyr and stone for making such items has printing block of religious text, mats, masks, furniture, altars, and the site image adoring many shrine and atlas. Hi everybody, my name is Muhammad Nakuddin and I want to uh, explain about Timpu at Butin and the reason why we must visit the Timpu at Butin. So let's start. To choose honor the birthday of Guru Rinpoche, the saint who first introduced the country to Buddhists in 8th century. Although the exact month varies from place to place, with teachers translating to 10th day that if this event uh, are always celebrated on the 10th day of a month in the lunar calendar. Local monks uh, prepare themselves with meditation and deep prayer. During three day long celebration, the monks then perform a series of highly stylish dance uh, wearing colorful masks and costumes uh, each mask dance has a story of special meaning behind it and it's and is often based on stories of the life of guru rimpochi Timpu festival is therefore a rich historical traditional uh, through which the Bhutanese pass of pass on their mythology values and spiritual beliefs. <laughs>